If you were to ask me which one tool or app or online resource I cannot live without, I would say it's Canva. Canva helps me so much as an educator, as a teacher, as a content creator, as a researcher. There are so many different tools that I use it for and I feel like it's it's quite, you think from the outside that it's quite limited to things like social media, making posts, etc., which it does do amazingly, of course, but there are so many other ways that you can use it as a PhD researcher or as a postdoc or as an academic in general that will help you with things like making poster presentations, making whiteboards, um, even to the point of things like making live like webinars or teaching sessions. It's so, so helpful. So I thought I'd run through today's video. I have, let's see, nine different ways that you can use it. It's so inexpensive if you want to go for the premium, but even the free version, like you get so much out of it. And like, this is not sponsored. I wish they knew who I was because I literally open Canva up every single day. So I would be the perfect person to collaborate with. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, the first way is for a poster presentation. And the most traditional way of using, uh, designing a poster is on PowerPoint, but a more beautiful way that you can kind of like get these more beautiful designs is doing it on, um, on Canva. So I'm gonna search poster presentation. And the nice thing about it is that they have all these templates um, that you can use and you can design it in whichever way you want. So obviously these posters are um, more marketing, but you're more than welcome to change the designs, the colors, and I'm sure if you even search like a research poster, you'll find one. Um, so yeah, you can scroll through like this, find a design that you like. Um, let's see, research poster, that's one, I'm gonna click there. There you go, you've got like a quite general one over there. It has like a nice structure. This is a nice academic poster as well on the side. Um, this is quite a nice poster as well. This is actually a nice, this is actually a really nice unique design. Let's see what this looks like. So you can open this up, you can see what the poster looks like. You can see they've got images there, charts, graphs, and it's fully customizable. So you can just click on it, customize it, download it. And the nice thing about it also is that you can change the sizes. So if you want A0 and then you want to modify it to um, A3, for example, you can say change the A3 and it will resize the whole thing for you without having to like faff around with everything. So these are really nice templates, really beautiful designs. Um, and it's a way that you can get a lovely academic research post. I love this one, this is a nice one, it's nice and clean, very simple. <laughs> All right, the next way, and this is a new feature that they've just released, is changing and converting a document to a presentation. So you've got a document, you've written out, you know, whatever you have an introduction for your, for your academic um, paper, and then you want to convert that into a presentation. So I've just given, shown an example of how to do this, and I did this yesterday so I can <laughs> make sure that I've got it um, there for you. So you can see that you click on doc and you include the document that you want. So here's my document. I've got an image here. It's a fake image, don't worry. But I've got an image here, um, and then I've got all my text, all there, four or five points, and this is actually a script for a video. So I have all my points here. And then all you need to do, and this is the magic, you press convert and it converts it into a presentation. Um, and you can choose what theme you want. So you can choose, and you can, if you have a brand, you can even like have different colors and stuff. But let's just say this theme, you can see that it's like split all the information into a presentation for you. And yeah, look at how nice that is. Imagine you were doing a teaching or you, you had a class and you had the information within a, a short ebook or a short bit of text and you wanted to convert that into a presentation, that's so, so easy and so quick. And obviously you are going to have to edit. None of this is, um, you know, from zero to 100. You are gonna have to edit, but the fact that you've got all the information on all the pages for you, it's, it's gorgeous. The next way, the third way is to generate websites. Now, lots of labs, lots of like research groups have websites. And I know that I remember when I was searching for my lab, I looked at the website and it had the pictures of like who was there and like what they've published and what they do and their social like, activities, etc. And it's quite nice to see what your lab gets up to. So you can actually design websites on Canva as well, which is a nice way of doing it without spending any money on things like Wix or you know Squarespace, etc. You can just go on Canva, make a website. So here you can see that you can build a business website, portfolio, event website, education, retail, a service website. So I'm just gonna say education, I guess. Um, you've got different templates here as well. You can see business, portfolio, events, education. Um, let's just do this one for the sake of it. But 
The nice thing also about it is that you can either stick to the um, URL that they give you, it has got Canva inside it, or if you want, you can buy your own URL and then you can, you know, you can link it to this. So you don't have to have their URL. So yeah, you can see this is the first page. You can add another page and that can be page two and maybe that can link to um, the next page. And it's, it's not meant to be very detailed. It's not meant to be a, an amazing website, but it gives you that starting point. And if you want are someone who ha has like a lab group and you want to build a website or social media, this works really well. And then you can say publish and you can see that it actually um, gives you a free domain um, and let's just see what that free domain looks like okay so I can say for example like um, the Yonis group that's your lab um, and that's that will be my website yonisgroup.my.canva.site and yeah good starting point point. and for that website you can design um, different posts different imagery and it's, it can all be done on Canva Okay, the next thing is infographics, diagrams, images, and this is where it comes in beautifully. And again, if you need to do more in-depth, like figures for your research papers, then obviously Canva isn't the way, isn't the place to go because you have other websites where you can do that. But if you're looking for nice places that you can just generate quite, you know, simple images that look good and are presentable, it's a good place to start. Um, so you can, for example, generate an infographic. So this can be maybe if you have um, a, a, like some images that you want to link together for your introduction, or if you have a post presentation, you wanna kind of put things together, or if you're teaching and you wanna have a nice infographic for as part of your presentation, then you can see here that you've got all these different templates um, that can really, you know, you can kind of start, it's a good starting point at the end of the day, you can change things up. Um, and yeah, I really like these templates. I've used them before for presentations about thesis, about Viva and writing, etc. It works really well, people really like it. And on the same vein, um, graphs are also a nice uh, thing that you can use here. And you actually can input data as well. So like a chart like this, where you're just say, like you're brainstorming would be quite nice for things like a lab meeting. If you have a nice lab meeting, um, or maybe if you're doing a seminar for your department and you want to just kind of show your data and what you have, this is a nice kind of template to be able to use. I also really like it by the way for timelines. So let's see if they have um, timeline. So you can see here they've got timeline and obviously this is more for business, but maybe this would work better for a project and um, for your PhD program. So if you want to, for your research proposal or for your upgrade, your PhD upgrade, you should really include a timeline in there showing that, right, I've done this and I'm going to be doing these steps between now and, you know, the next two, three years and having a nice timeline, timeline like this where you just say, right, January Q1, then Q2, I'm gonna be doing this, and then Q3, I'm gonna be doing this. It's a nice place to begin. And timelines are usually something that people don't really show and are quite, I missed out quite a lot. So um, yeah, they look nice. And you know, people want to see imagery that's look, that looks good. It's, academia has moved away from the traditional kind of boring, um, old school, like Times New Roman. People are putting in more effort into their imagery. And so, you know, something like this can really help. Um, the next way is for your thesis. So for once you've designed and you've got your, your images and your figures, you can do that in more, you know, more specific science, like someone like BioRender. Um, you can have your images there, for example, or like, you know, Fiji, et cetera, image J. You've got your images, you've bought them, and now you need to like label them with maybe asterisks or maybe like your p-value, little bar things, or maybe you wanna put two or three images together to make it one full image. Um, I had like four or five graphs that I'd have on in one in one image so I'd kind of put them together and I'd make that one image and I'll download that as one specific image so I could just stick that into my thesis um, adding figure legends as well you can do that all on Canva just by saying create a design doing very basic um, plain design and then adding everything into that plain background Okay, the next one is academic CV templates. So I've gone to academic CV and um, you can see that they've got a range of different themes and I quite like something quite simple. I think something like this would be um, simple. We don't really need our photo um, on an academic CV or to be honest, on any CV in the UK, really photo's not really required. So I'm just gonna go for this one because I think this one is quite customizable and very clean. Um, you can take the photo away from the other ones anyway, it's all customizable. But I think this one looks quite academic. Um, so you've got your name there on top and then you've got all your details there, education experience, skills, etc. So yeah, another way of quickly, if you need to quickly generate a CV, 
you don't have much time and you just want to get a CV, a CV for something or you know a, a template for some sort of like academic document for yourself then it's a quick way of doing it okay another way which I mentioned recently and someone was like oh I don't know that Canva could do that is for your thesis defense presentations so Canva also do what don't they do Canva also do presentations so you're able to um, essentially do what PowerPoint would do and the nice thing about Canva is you can also record it on there and um, you can then play, replay it later you can send a link out to the people that are going to be watching it your audience so they can watch it live or they can watch it later on um, they can also see what you've done all your notes are there and also when you press record and you want to present your um, presentation you can see your presenter notes, but then they can't. So just like PowerPoint, so it's it's amazing. Like all of that is within this. So if you click on presentations, and um, they've got a range of different presentations, but I'm going to specifically search for because it's not going to be right there. I'm going to search for thesis presentation, and you'll see there's so many that come up. Okay, I've searched for thesis presentation templates, and you can see there are so many that come up. Um, and I'm just going to go for something quite simple because I think you, know, you don't want to overdo it. Um, so I'm going to go for, I don't know, let's go for this one. Final Defense Thesis Presentation. And you can see that it's a template. It's been um, designed by this person over here. So you can see who's designed it. And if you like their design, you can actually go and look at their other designs as well. If you click on the name. Um, so let's see. Uh, you've got page one, your research, it's got the table of contents. Amazing. Then you've got your research background motivation. Amazing. Um, got different like layouts which is completely customizable your hypothesis one hypothesis two hypothesis three your methods um, any charts you might need res the, the results for your research conclusions and thank you for listening like so beautiful looks so good I, I think like you know the imagery is a bit too much <laughs> I would probably take that away and add my own like graphs and figures but you can kind of see the colors and the themes um, there are so many other ones there and they are all like 15, 13 pages. So they do include all the different sections that you need. So all you have to do is add your information into it. And what more could you ask? And then number eight are teaching resources. So things like whiteboard. So you can click on whiteboard and it allows you to like um, have a team whiteboard, brainstorm whiteboard. So you can collaborate with other people and you're able to discuss any ideas and you can share that so everyone can see it at the same time. And then last but definitely not least is the video um, option. So videos, you can make um, a nice video that either you can use on your social media. So that's, you know, if you have uh, your lab has a group or your lab has an Instagram account or a TikTok account or whatever, you can use it there. Or you can use it for your actual imaging. So let's say you have um, an electro electron microscopy video or you have a light microscopy video or any other kind of video you can input it into Canva and like remove the background for example or like slightly edit you're not meant to edit the image itself so I wouldn't change like any exposure or anything like that but let's say you want to just isolate that particular cell or that particular part of the image you can get rid of the background and um, which works really well it's quite difficult to do on other apps or other websites so you could that's something you could do you can add text you can add arrows um, and, and that can all be part of a video and then you can save it as a video and attach that um, as a link into your PhD thesis as well. So yeah, it works really well. And like I said, I, I genuinely use Canva for everything. I make my YouTube thumbnails on there, like I use it for social media. I use it to design pretty much anything from blog posts, um, all these presentations. My presentation I did recently was done on here. Like everything is done on Canva. Um, it's so, so helpful and I've got the paid version, but the free version is just as good, honestly. Let me know if you've tried or thought about trying to use Canva as a researcher or within academia. Um, and if you have, let me know. Or if you have any other options or any other resources that you wanna share, please also let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you soon, bye.